There's a big problem with React context. React context is a way you can use global data inside of React. Just like use state is for local state, context is for global state. Here, I'm depending on the context with use context inside of app. And I can set the value of the context by, by setting the value attribute of the provider. Contexts are really useful because you can pass data to specific components without adding too much code. For example, let's say A and B depend on a value called value. The traditional way to do this is to do prop drilling. Basically, you pass the value down through props and you receive the values at A and B. This requires a lot of code changes. React contexts make this simpler. Basically, instead of changing many, many nodes, you can just change A and B, use context it, and depend on the value when it changes. The problem occurs at higher complexity. For example, let's say A somehow changes the value, the context value, um, and A is the only UI that needs to change. All these yellow components also depend on value, which means they also re-render. This can be really problematic because it can cause a lot of un unintentional re-rendering via props. This can be a, a potential performance issue for you. This is a real example of a production app I drew out. Every single one of these yellow triangles you see on the screen are caused by one context. This is literally 200 components that are re-rendering because of one context that they all depend on. Ultimately, contexts are great, but they can get really complex and they can cause a lot of issues with re-rendering. So here are three tips. First, keep the context provider as high up in the tree as possible. Keep it at the root or in the app. This way, when you render the app, it only renders on mount and doesn't need to change the value every single time. Second thing is split big context up. Let's say you have a uh, context about every single thing in the session. Um, instead of maybe putting it all in one context, split it up into like a theme context and a user context. This way, components that depend on theme and components that depend on user update separately. Third, don't nest state inside of custom hooks unless you have to. The biggest problem I see is people make tons of custom hooks and they compose it. And this, this gets really bad at scale. There are maybe like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten layers. And as a human, it's impossible to reason about these problems. Keep things somewhat simple and make it easy for you to debug them and understand why renders occur. Overall, React Context is a super useful feature, but don't misuse it and know that it can get problematic at high complexity.